Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. Since making Mary Ellen's Airstream, we wanted to craft more camping accessories to add to this playset. So today we share with you how to make 1950s style camping cookware. In this video, we craft faux graniteware mugs and plates, a spatula and cooking pot. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe and share to help our channel grow. So, let's get making! Mmm, that smells delicious! Breakfast is served, Kyle style! Great, because I'm hungry! <laughs> <laughs> let's start by making a faux graniteware mug using the cap from this large glue stick. On paperboard, trace around your cap. Then cut outside the circle line for a border that is a few millimetres wide. Next, cut inside the trace line, leaving you with a paper ring. This piece will be the rim of our camping mug. To increase the height of our glue stick cap, we measured then cut a centimetre off another cap. Put this piece inside the paper ring. Seal together using hot glue. Next. Put a thin line of hot glue on the top edge of the first cap and join them together. Cut a thin strip of paperboard for the handle. Crease the paperboard at both ends to get small tabs. Then hot glue one tab to the top of the mug under the rim and the other at the bottom. Bend the paperboard into a C shape. To match the American Girl colour scheme, we are using a dark blue nail polish called Night Sky. Paint your mug all over. Since this is nail polish, we recommend working in a well-ventilated area. It took us two coats for the polish to be completely opaque. To achieve the distinctive look of granite wear, water down white acrylic paint and use a stiff bristled brush to flick little dots onto your mug. We initially hold the brush far away from the mug for those bigger dots. As the paint dries out on your brush, bring it closer to get those tiny speckles. We have shown how to make plates in previous tutorials, but felt our plastic lid variation best for this set. This is the lid from our air dry clay packaging. It has an 8cm diameter and a slightly recessed centre. We just need to cut off the rim to make it flat. To give the plate more strength, we glued two together with E6000 spray adhesive, then put something heavy on top and left it overnight. As with the mug, give the plate a couple of coats of night sky polish. Then flick on the white dots. We made this spatula in our DIY Surf Bus Accessories 2 video. Click the card top right to check it out. It just needs a paint job to match the one seen in Mary Ellen's Campfire Cooking Set. For this we used Spray Easy Baby Blue Gloss. Our cooking pot is made from the spray can lid. Look around your house to see what bottles you have with a similar cap. On the inside of the cap, mark with Sharpie where the holes for the camping pot handle will go. Next, trace around a thick marker to draw the curves for the pot brackets. Carefully cut around these areas. Next, cut to reduce the can rim by a centimetre. Here's the holes. We use the tip of our precision scissors to do this. You want to make the hole large enough to insert a barbecue skewer. To bend the skewer, first soak in water for an hour to soften the wood fibres. Gently bend the top so it will fit inside a mug. Add boiling hot water and let the skewer soak for another hour. Pour out the water and allow your skewer to dry whilst inside the cup. Trim off the ends, keeping just the curved tip for the pot handle. Paint silver. For the pot lid, we cut down another cap of a similar diameter. Like the AG version, we want to use a two-tone colour scheme. The inside of the pot and lid is a dark blue and the outside a middle shade of sky blue. The handle is just a strip of paperboard painted dark blue and adhere to the lid with hot glue. Thread your skewer into the holes we made earlier in the brackets and your pot is ready for cooking. Kyle and Jeannie are all set to cook fabulous camp food with these fun cookware pieces. We hope your dolls like them too. Don't forget to subscribe to Always Dolls and hit the bell icon so you get notified as soon as a new video drops. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!